Okay. Good morning. I had a little bit of time to tinker and I'm trying to get these settings knocked out and I, and I can't quite seem to find the best one, but I, I wanted to get this out there anyways, uh, let you know what I've been tinkering with. And long story short is for videos like this, which is most of the videos I do, I want this camera to react a lot like my Z50 does, which is focus on my face. And then when I want to show something in frame, I want it to focus on the thing that I put in front of my face. And so far, I've gotten, I've gotten the D780 to mimic it, but it seems to be a little bit sluggish. There's two settings that I'm really playing with is autofocus speed and autofocus sensitivity. Now the autofocus speed, I like a nice snappy autofocus, but I don't want it too fast. I don't want it jarring. I don't want it to look like when it autofocuses too fast, it almost feels like it's not focusing, especially when, and, and almost every camera, even the Sony's will do this, it'll, it'll grab a subject and grab another subject and then grab back real fast. Well, if you have a, a, a medium focus speed, it will, it will grab, and then once it grabs the other one, it, it will transition to it, so it won't look as bad. But if you have it as snappy as it can be, it literally looks like it's just freaking out. Um, that's a technical term, freaking out. I'm sure you've heard of it. If not, you know, it's a thing, at least in my world. Let me show it. Let me give you an example right, right now. Okay. This is my standard model here. Okay. You see how long that took? It was still tracking my face and you can't see it in the video, but the square around my face just barely dropped. Now I'm going to drop this and it comes back in on my face fairly quickly. I really feel like the D780 is face tracking priority higher than the Z50. The Z50 is kind of smarter, it seems like, where the Z50 goes, okay, I know there's a face back there, but I can definitely tell there's something in front of the frame that I need to refocus on. And for some reason, I can't get the Z50 to act the same. Now, that could be because that the Z50 is now on a firmware 2.0, and they haven't released a firmware since, what, April? on the D780, so I really think they're lagging behind on the video audio focus. That's just my opinion. So let's try a couple different things. I'd like to know what you guys and gals think, if it's fast enough focus, if it's not focusing at all, if you think it should be a little bit faster. I'll let you know my opinions once I watch this video and, and, and put the menus down. Yeah, I might have to do another one of these until I really get this nailed down. So once again, and I do want to verify, that I am on an older F mount kit lens and it is on F4. So there should be a decent amount of, um, of area to focus on. When you jump down to F2.8, there's a, there's it, everything's gets really blown out and these things have a hard time focusing anyways. So this shouldn't have as hard of a time. So let's, let's try. Okay. I want to show you my, the Z50. Okay. So it saw my face the whole time like it was supposed to. And then it dropped the square around my face the second it decided to focus on the Z50. I feel like that there was a, a good pause there, but I almost wanted a little snappier, but I'm worried that if I do that, it's just gonna start focusing on my hands. You talk with my hands a lot. So it, it, it's partially user error. I have to get better with working with the system, but if I can get this system to work how I want it to, the more the better. See, it's still focusing on my face. There's a square around my face. Now the square is gone and it refocuses. So you guys are seeing how much of the face has to be covered before it decides to let go of it. See, the square is still around my face, still around my face. Square is still around my face, actually. Now there's no square and it can't figure out on what to focus on. I am too close to the camera, though, so that could be a problem or to that lens. So that's a little bit of user error, the camera. By the time I covered my face, the camera didn't know what to do. So I might actually have to get back just a hair to be able to cover my face up faster to make it refocus on something. That's not bad. It's really having a hard time with these smaller objects. Let's see what it does here. Okay, that's better. It's just really, I mean, it's heavy face tracking. That's all I can say is it's, I'm not seeing an error in the camera. I'm seeing the camera hold on to my face as long as possible. 
Now I'm going to mess with the autofocus sensitivity to, to see if that will help, but I really feel like Nikon has taken the autofocus sensitivity and that's the layer underneath face tracking. I really feel like they put face tracking above it and it's on a different algorithm. And maybe autofocus sensitivity works with face tracking, but I think it doesn't weight it as hard as just subject tracking, switching in between the two. So I want to do some more testing. You guys and gals, let me know what you think and, and uh, if you notice anything different. But so far, I see a square around my face, which means it's recognizing my face and it's focusing on it. As I put the new lens up, it finds it and it decides to focus on it. Now, ironically, there's still a square around my around where it thinks my, my face is supposed to be. Now, if I kind of move out of frame, this will be an interesting test and drop it. Now it finds my face right away. The square pops up. I mean, it's, it's pretty quick. That's pretty good. I mean, for face tracking, it's annoying if you're trying to do things like this. It still has a square around my face. It does not want to relinquish, even though it has it, there we go. Like, like it is really, if it sees a tip of an ear, it's like, nope, I got the face. I'm not, I'm not letting go of this thing. So let's try one last thing. Maybe something with some more contrast, maybe that'll help. That's a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm done with the footage pretty much. I'm gonna get it on the computer and I'm gonna share out the menu settings. I think I'm gonna actually right now phase over to the menu settings and kind of talk about where I was at and what I've been messing with. So anyways, I'll be back in a minute. If not, wait a little longer. Take a look at the two settings I was talking about earlier. We're gonna go take a look into the movie settings. That's the G menu. And we're gonna look at autofocus speed. I have it at a plus two. Autofocus tracking sensitivity I have as a five, which is low. I'm actually gonna drop that because I wasn't extremely happy. Now it actually it comes out of the box as a four. And I've been messing around going to kind of extremes on both. So I'm going to drop it back down to, I'm going to drop it back to the middle of the road and I'll try that setting some more. Maybe I didn't give it enough, um, enough time to mess with, but we're going to drop that back to a four. Autofocus speed is fine. Um, it could be a little snappier if I really wanted it to, but I feel like it's, it's moving back and forth just fine. Really the main difference is going to be the tracking sensitivity and that's going to decide when to let go of focus and to track something else. So I really feel like the autofocus is fine. It just needs to make the decision to re autofocus faster. So when I start dropping that number value down and I go to high, that means that it will try and acquire a new target faster. So it'll shift focus between new subjects in the same area faster than as if you had it on low. Low means to grab that object, lock onto it, and hold onto it with, dear, with your dear life. That means don't let go unless you absolutely have to. And as you start moving this slider down, it's saying, eh, what you're tracking on isn't that important. Keep looking for new things. So we're going we're gonna to jump to four. And I think I'll probably be happy with that. I might even go down to a three. Um, what I, when I had it at three before, when I was moving my hands while I was talking, it kept grabbing onto my hands more. So maybe middle of the road and I just didn't give it enough shot. So we'll stick to there and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so I changed that setting on the autofocus sensitivity arena. Now I wanna see if this acts any better than it did before, okay? Let's see what happens. We're gonna bring the subject in. It still recognizes my face as the focus item. There we go, pops in and into the new subject. And then it focuses on my face again. So let's do a couple more quick tests and then I'll wrap it up and say what I, I plan on doing with the settings if I'm gonna move them any farther. So the idea being, once again, I wanna show you this Z50. I want it to focus. I wanna be able to move it around a little bit without it freaking out too, too much. That looks good. It did have a little focus breathing, but it is an older lens. Not focus breathing. It had a little back and forth focus. Um, on a lot of these older 
Nikon lenses, it will kind of defocus and refocus to make sure it's got focus lock. I'll bring it, let's see here. I think that did pretty good. It's still struggling with smaller items. Let's see what happens. I'll bring it in this time. That's better. It still sees my face in the background, which is good. So it already knows to refocus on it, but just moving it down that one peg, I might move it down one more, but so far this seems to be working pretty good. We'll see. I'm gonna test uh, something once again, a different coloring contrast, you know. It's wanting to focus on it. That could be a problem of, let me get back just a hair. This lens just doesn't like to focus close. So that, that could be user error. Let's try, let's try it again. Let's see what happens. That looks pretty good. I think one of my, one of my problems, user error, is if I don't see it focusing right away, I keep pushing it forward instead of just kind of trusting that it will decide to focus on it. Something I need to work on. All right, and here is my trusty Tamron lens that I use most of the time instead of this Nikon 24 to 120. Let's see what it does here. It's quick to focus on it. Looks good, looks clean. I'm gonna move it around a little bit to see if it, to, to kind of try and trick it out of focusing, to defocus it, but it seems to be doing pretty good. I'll give it a twist here. I think it looks pretty good. Refocus on the face pretty good. So it seems to be working a little bit better. I might even drop it down one more notch, but I'm worried that if I go back in the, if I go, if I keep going farther, I'm worried that it will constantly try and refocus on something. And that's what I'm trying to avoid. Especially you see me talking with my hands. I really don't want it to grab onto my hands or grab onto something that's coming into the scene maybe or something. You know, if I'm just talking about something and I'm just kind of holding it up and I don't want to focus on it, but I want you to know what I'm talking about. It's almost like I'm asking these cameras to be magical and a lot of them are. You know, I know the Sonys do really well and I'm, I'm getting more impressed with this Nikon focusing system. I still lean toward the Z50, I really do, but I really love the full frame look. And what I mean by that is the, the blurred background. It has better noise. Um, it handles noise better. I guess you could say I can bring up, I can bump that ISO more and not have to worry about it. So I'm gonna wrap this one up. I, you know what, I think one of my next videos, I think I want to actually try and work on the noise let me see here, it's trying, it's thinking about it. See, it gets kind of stuck sometimes still. It's, it's still not perfect. But once again, I don't think I'm trusting it. I think I'm getting too close to the camera before it focuses. So user error. And what I mean by that is I keep kind of wanting to just shove it in the front of the lens and hope it focuses. I need to trust that once it detects something else in the scene, it will focus on it without me keep trying to get closer and closer. That seems to be a natural reaction of mine and I need to stop doing that. So it looks good though. I think it looks good. All right. So like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Tell me why. If you're looking for any of this equipment I use to record with, links are down in the description. As usual, have an amazing day.